Kia ora and good afternoon and welcome into Moore FM Arena in the heart of the Edgar Centre here in Dunedin ahead of a Sky Sport double header first from Tohi Basketball Aotearoa the Southern Hoi Ho taking on the mainland Pole Arkai followed by the Otago Nuggets in action for their final game of the regular season against the Franklin Bulls. Hugh Bain in here and alongside Donna Wilkins on a balmy Dunedin day. Donna? It's beautiful out there isn't it Hugh? It's raining and it's raining quite heavily um, so uh, walk-up crowd will, will get wet tonight, this afternoon, that's for sure, here at the Edgar Centre as the Pollock are welcomed out onto the court. We'll have a look at the ladder, shall we, so far, round five of Toei before they take a week's break to allow for the South Zambia final six, and then round six, and then the final four for Toei gets underway. So the Kahu caught their first loss last night at the hands of the Tokomano of Queens, and they are one and two on the ladder. The fight and the Poakai fighting for placings now, and the Southern Hoi Ho out to play spoiler for the remainder of the season. So, Donald, we look at that ladder, the fight and the Poakai, basically it's who wants to avoid the Kahu, uh, essentially, come final four time. Here are the games still to come. So this top game between the fight and the Queens will be at Queen Elizabeth U Centre in Tauranga. So an area there on our graphic, not Te Araha Event Centre, that will be uh, at QEYC in Tauranga, Sunday, 5.30pm. Uh, and then the Queens uh, back in action, like I said, after the fight game this afternoon, we have a 11-day break. So the Queens meet the Kahu in Porirua, and then the Fai take on the Poakai in Tauranga. After today's action, Starting five for the mainland, Paul Arkai, Joan and Cherry, Lauren Hippolyte in the backcourt, Erin Whalen, Trinity Baptiste and Tessa Boagni in the front court. Ella Fotu back from international duty, so she'll come off the bench. Of course, no Mary Goulding out for the season with a ruptured Achilles. Uh, let's hear from head coach Tully Bevelacqua. So Tully, the last outing you guys had was against the Hoi Hoa in Queenstown. You managed to win that game. How do you go about tonight's match? It was a pretty close one in Queenstown. You know, we have real good battles against this team. We kind of match up evenly against each other. Um, you know, we just have to, you know, going back and looking at film, you know, we've got to take care of the basketball. You know, our oppositions make us pay when we turn the ball over and Hoi Hoa did a good job of that. So, you know, we just have to make sure that that ball is gold for us. And unfortunately, no Mary tonight after that game. Um, how's she doing in her recovery? Well, Mary, if you're watching this, which I'm sure you are, we're thinking of you, we miss you here. Um, you know, it's never nice to see any player go down and obviously one of your own. So, you know, we're wishing her all the best and we're there with her for her recovery going forward. All the best this afternoon, Tally. Thanks, matey. <laughs> Always a smile on Tully Bevelacqua's face as we have a look at the Southern Hoi Ho. There's Zoe Richards. She'll start in the four spot today. Shelby Cheslick at the five. Tori Dugan and Samara Gallagher in the backcourt. And Lena Snyder, fresh off 31 points, still wearing the headband after that head clash in Queenstown. She has been the star of the show for the Southern Hoi Ho in this inaugural season. Let's hear from their head coach, Nat Vizga. So, Nat, it's the last home game for the season for the Hoi Ho. What can you do tonight to show your fans? Oh, yeah, we're just going to play hard like we have been. Come out, you know, trying our best to do what we're supposed to do and just lay it all out there. The last game that you had against uh, Paakai was town. It was a really tight battle, um, pretty low scoring in that first half. How do you get that W against them today? Well, I think the key is not letting them get comfortable. I think, you know, they have a lot of weapons. They showed that. We, we did a pretty good job on Baptiste. We did a good job on Waylon. Um, and then other people heard us, you know, so it's like, well, we just need to clean that up a little bit and not let people get comfortable. So it's that's been a focus for us um, and realizing those kind of things in game. And that's just like lack of experience. So we're constantly teaching. And I think the girls are hungry for another W just to finish with a positive note. So I, I think the effort and intensity will be there. It's just mentally we need to make sure we're locked in for, you know, almost 40 minutes. All the best, Nat. Thank you, Donna. We'll have a look to the head-to-head, -head, shall we, Donna Wilkins? And we talked a lot about Lena Snyder every time, but really, I mean, she's scoring 31 points. Uh, they need to find some other point scorers from other parts of their team, don't they? Oh, uh, look, for sure. And if you look at their average, 58 points is quite low across the board compared to the other teams in the Toehi. But, yes, yeah, Snyder needs somebody to help her in the hoi ho just to get going. Another couple of scorers. It doesn't really matter who it is, just to share that load and make it tougher for the Lena, opposition. Lena Snyder averaging 21.3 points of that 58 for the Southern Hoi Ho. 
and what 31 on Wednesday night, draining seven from 12 from three point land. So she'll be wanting another big game, but as we say, somebody to help her out. So a two man refereeing crew today Taylor Armisen, the crew chief on the right of the screen, Jacob Crom, just disposing of his jacket now. Uh, and that is due to some flight disruptions around the South Island. A bit of weather floating around to Waipunanu, so two-man crew for this first game. And with a little bit of luck and some extra flights landing, we should have a three-man crew for the second game uh, between the Nuggets and the Bulls. Well, Hugh, you were telling me that you're quite good with the whistle. I, I, I don't think my level one online learning uh, qual <laughs> qualifies me to, to do a Toei game, unfortunately. <laughs> So, like I said, placing really all at stake, and, well, I say all at stake, could be vital uh, come final four time and final six time for both the games we're going to see today from the Eka Centre. The Kahu 9-1 and one and out on top, and then the Phi Queens and Porkai making up the rest of the final four. That will be the final four at the Trafalgar Centre at the end of August. Tickets go on sale for Tohi Basket Aotearoa final four on Thursday next week. Um, great to get a crowd to Nelson to finish off this historic first season of the brand new professional women's league here in Aotearoa. And the hoi hall won't be there, but they can decide who meets who with a couple of wins down the stretch of this season. And look, they're going to be pretty fired up. That's their last home game here in Dunedin. So hopefully they come out buzzing to put on a good show. But it's interesting, isn't it? Because you talk about the final four for the Toihi. Like, who does the Paiakai really want to match up against? Because they actually have had some good battles with Kahu. Whereas Fai, you know, they came off a good, I think it was about a 30-point thrashing. Um, so, you know, does that come into it, Hugh? Well, and they've beaten the Paiakai, beaten the Queens twice, but then popped quite a heavy loss last time they played. So, yeah, you're right. Does it come into it, or is it just a case of don't tinker with anything and just try and win as many games as you can. How many times have we seen teams around the world in the international basketball, domestic basketball, try and decide their own fate only for it to blow up in their face? Oh, absolutely. Look, you go out there to win, don't you? And that's what these two teams will be doing today as the uh, ball is delivered. Like I said, balmy day in Dunedin. Nice and warm. Everyone's here. got the coats <laughs> on. Within the Edgar Centre. Well, I must admit, I'm quite pleased we're in this part of the Edgar Centre, not the community, community court side. There's I a walked. netball tournament on there, and I walked through it. It's freezing. I walked through it on the way through, just like you, and yeah, she was brisk. It was brisk in there. The heaters are on. We're ready to go. Uh, Shelby Cheslick and Tessa Bagney will decide who gets the first position in this game. It is Tessa Bagney who gets the tip. Lauren Hipplight has a scramble for it. It's Lena Snyder. Agassi headband and all gets in her face early. That clash of heads with Tarai Elia last time these two teams met, and that was in Queenstown. That night, of course, was Mary Goulding's last bit of play in Toei for 2022. We wish her all the best with her recovery from a ruptured Achilles. The Zoe Richards can't get the layup to go. And there's Poakai possession. Look, Tessa Boagni was really strong for the Paiakai in Queenstown when they last met. She had 18 points and 14 rebounds, and going in early, the Paiakai just couldn't make that first basket, but good to see them going into the big players underneath. It's no secret where they look to find their points from Baptiste and Boagni. Here's Jalen Cherry trying to get past Tori Dugan. Big crossover, pull up from the elbow. That's off, but Boagni might have come down with that fighting with the Tool Ferns teammate. So Richards, jump all the call, so hoi ho possession. Tori Dugan yells out the instructions as she brings the ball over halfway. Snyder catch and shoot. That one short, Baptiste with a good contest. It's like there was a pass, you were meant to catch that. <laughs> Schneider tried to uh, sell that as a pass to her teammate with a wry smile on her face. And that's what Snyder's going to look to do. She's going to look to score early at every opportunity. So Hippolyte back on the starting lineup, of course. Right. Put to the bench, and Gould with Goulding the starting in Queenstown. Baptiste uses oh. the hoop as a friend and a lovely finish. Yeah, nice reverse. 
Lauren Lauren Hippolyte and Preston Queenstown. Four from beyond the arc. A bit more freedom in her offensive play. Inside the Hoy Hill go to Cheslet. Beautiful pass to Tori Dugan oh, who does the rest. It. Lovely pass from the post from Shelby Cheslet. Hippolyte has been harassed by Dugan. And we have a foul on the floor. Aaron Whalen will get us back underway. Cherry back to Whalen. That quick release to Aaron Whalen. She drains the three ball. Oh, and a turnover here from the Hoy Hoys. That pass from Snyder comes to the score bench. So go back down to the baseline. Ball wasn't touched, so. Poor high ball from the baseline. Aaron Whalen will inbound it again. Looks for Cherry, elevates from the inbound catch and drains a two pointer. Cherry will be pleased with that, which is you know, just pretty hard coming into a team. Part three, well, nearly at the end of the season. Chester with the post move, Bo Agnew with the block. Trying to claim that she blocked it back on to Shelby Chestlet. Referee Jackie Crom not having a bar of it. No, he wasn't changing his mind. Oh, fight for three. That might have just got stuck on Sammy Gallagher's hand as she tried to just drop it over the top to Snyder. So the result is another turnover by the Hoy Hoys. Baptiste gets into her preferred spot. Back to Whalen, quick first step. Tipped by Gallagher, but Agni comes down with it. Fires Hippolyte, drains the corner three. And it's a fast start for the mainland Poakai here. 10-2 they lead after two and a half. And Lauren Hippolyte take, picking up where she left off on Monday night with a, another three. She's Richards getting... trying to be aggressive. That's a tough shot. She might have just got it to drop. It. She did. Zoe Richards. And that's one player the Hoi Hall will want to get going. Zoe Richards. Well, what's during the warm-up? Hit about 12 out of 15 threes. So look for her to try and get open on the perimeter as Cherry puts up one up from the corner. Chestnut brings it down. And this is where the Hoi Hall need to push, but just losing the handle. Gallo just took the eye off the dribble, and he comes back to the other way. Cherry this time from two point land. She and makes this time it. it drops. Looking a lot more comfortable on her shot. Hippolyte harasses Galhar after she picks up the dribble. There's Dugan. Back inside the chest that they go. This time, steps. She needs to do Pirates. something Pirates. with Pirates. it. is a pretty move. Everything but the finish for Shelby Chesley. Whalen brings down the boards. The step back finds a bit of space here, and Whalen rattles around, doesn't drop. And a sigh of relief from the Hoi Ho, Hoi Ho crowd. And Snyder. Looks to get herself going. Floater doesn't go, but Agni. Yeah, but she hustled enough on the rebound, didn't she, to create another chance and gets it. And that's a hustle bucket, you're right. Gallagher finding Snyder. Gets a jump shot to go. Cherry brings the ball up. Bounce pass to Hippolyte, picks it off the laces. Five on the shot clock. Baptiste trying to find some space. Whalen deep three ball. In the Down same spot. Goes. She Aaron loves shooting Whalen. from that spot. And we have a timeout here from the Southern Hoi Ho. They trail 15-6 against this pumped up mainland Poakai side. Under a minute to go. I should say under five minutes to go. In this first quarter. The Pauakai is finding those open players offensively. Hoi Hoi need to find those shooters. Erin Whalen's just going to launch. He's two from two in that same spot. So Erin Whalen leading the way with six points. 
Jalen Cherry has four. For a poor Akai side, looking to hit the ground running into the final four in a few weeks' time. We might see first look at Elafotu for a while in Tohi Basketball Aotearoa. We do back from Commonwealth Games duty. Number 42, the family number that they all wear. Brother Isaac, the tall black, has his brother Dan. A new, newly minted breaker as well. Yeah, they're a tall fan at both formats of the game as Chestnut's post move results in nothing but Russell with a good follow and a finish. Yeah, somebody out there was missing a box out. Tali Bevereka not happy. Here's Fotu curling and finding a bit of space. Fires it back to Hippolyte. Baptiste in the baseline jumper doesn't oh, go. Her own. Chases her own shot and puts it straight back in for two points. First, uh, fourth point for Trinity Baptiste. Averaging over 20 this season. Chestlet looks another oh, nice, nice pass cut. from the post from Shelby Chestlet. Snyder, the recipient. And not a noted scorer, Shelby Chestlet, Donna. So trying to find other ways to use her down low. I think there's times, though, that she. Especially on the knuckle, we talked about that on the Monday night. She got open quite frequently. It's Ella launches. Long offensive rebound for Fosu, and she doesn't miss the second time. <laughs> Olivia O'Neill into the game, calling the shots now. And another, another nice speed. pass from Chesler, and it's Rusk who finishes it off. Just getting those backdoor cuts to the hoop. Third assist for Shelby Cheslet. As we see them in the zone, the hoi hoi. We've got some shooters over the park, right? And here's the best of the lot, Aaron Whalen joining another three ball. And that's the problem when you run a zone, isn't it? They start hitting those shots. Cheslet. Oh, he does well. Forces the pass, and Bromwin Kester might have just been distracted by a charging Ella Fotu there. Took her eye off the ball and turnover. Is the result as Zoe Richards checks back into the game. Pippolite brings the ball up. Olivia O'Neill in front of her. Those two would have battled many a time at various South Island regional championships over the last decade. Again, they chase their own shot, the poor guy. Again, they come down with the offensive board. And again, the second chance results in two points. This time to Trinity Baptiste. Yeah, those offensive rebounds are hurting the hoi hoi at the moment. Got a box out. Can't afford to give those second chances away because the park I aren't missing them. It's the fourth offensive rebound for the Poakai. And their sixth point off offensive rebounds. Lead by 12, doubling the Hoi Hoi score at the moment. They see the Hoi Hoi go back to a man. Oh, great block, that one from Lena Snyder. And Bromley Kestrup was strategically positioned on the ground to come down with the board. And so Richard Subas and Nisbet up in her grill. Richards goes to work, back to her left hand. That one doesn't drop, Nisbet with the rebound. But good attacking from Richards, and I think she needs to do more of that. Snyder puts a bit of pressure on. So a turnover from the Poakai. Matt Vizca started the year as assistant coach and will finish it as head coach. Snyder has a good seal down low. Pass it won't count. She fouled is fouled by Trinity Baptiste. Richards with good position. Nisbet, not sure that was a block or if it came off the backboard. Either way, good defense from Tsubasa Nisbet. 
Mrs. Ella Fotu. She should be in the shape of her life, given how much streak three basketball she's played over the last six weeks. That's a tense, isn't it? They don't have any time to rest. Baptiste elevates from the mid-range. That's where she feels most at home. Yeah, I think she shot that first one short, and since then has been knocking them down. Trinity Baptiste, superstar for the Paiakai. O'Neill, toe on the line for Olivia O'Neill, so it would have been a two if it went. Here comes Whalen the other way. Opportunity in Europe awaits her at the end of this season. Fotu ties it over to Jalen Cherry. The defense doing just enough to disrupt the poor play, but that. Oh, what a block! Oh, Layla Snyder. Snyder is everywhere. See here, Cherry in the zone, forcing the poor guy to use all of the shot clock, and Snyder just times it perfectly. But not just the block, look how far she came. She's right up at the top of the key defending and then came back so, down the baseline to help. Shot has to go up from Cherry. I don't think she realises. She does now. My bad, she says. Shot clock violation from the mainland Poakai. Uh, trail by 14. With just over a minute to go in this first quarter. After this one, the Otago Nuggets will play their last home game of the season before they'll be at the South NBA Final Six. Gallagher puts up a high arcing three ball. Rebounded by Baptiste. And Samara Gallo might have done herself a disservice there. She limps back on defense. Yeah, she's not happy. Baptiste. Ooh. Oh, almost then came out. Cheslet with the rebound. Here's Rusk. Two quick buckets for her when she came off the bench, courtesy of Shelby. Shelby Chestnut passes. Gallagher this time another three. This one's short. And Baptiste comes down with it again. Yeah, Sammy's not good, is she? She's limping down, down the floor at the moment. Cherry driving. O'Neill with the board. 15 to go, so the Hoi Hall might just set off the last shot of this first quarter. And Cherry went for the steal. Chestnut puts it up. And Baptiste comes down with it again. The Porker might get a chance for a shot. Baptiste looks up at the clock. It's the halfway. halfway. Yeah, it won't go, but the first quarter has gone, and it's gone the way of the mainland Poa Kite. They lead 26 to 12. A hot start from the visiting team, and we'll be back with the second quarter after the break. Welcome back to the Eka Centre. Quarter time here between the mainland Poakai on the road, taking on the Southern Hoi Hawk. And they've started well, they lead 26 12. The back of nine points from Aaron Whale and eight points from Trinity Baptiste. 
Yeah, a wee bit different to Monday night's game when the scoring was so low. I think halftime was 30 to 26, and already the Pike I have got 26 points, so they'll be a lot happier with that performance offensively. So the Pohakai will get us back underway. Jessica Wagney will inbound. Nice moment for tip-off when young Noah ran onto the court, interrupted warm-up. Tessa's son. He wasn't very happy leaving the court either. Grandma had to come and get him. Grandma, former Tool Ferns captain, Jane McMeekin. Here's Jaden Cherry trying to find a bit of space. Seven on the shot clock. But Wagney looking inside to Bassa Nisbet. She needs to go up. Rebounded by Snyder, so good first. Defensive set for the Southern Hoi Hawk. Russ puts it up. Long rebound. Nisbet goes and gets it. And that pass might be picked off by Rusk. It is. A great defensive pressure, pressure from the Hoi Ho. Her three doesn't go, though, and Blakeney just settles things down. We talk about shooting the lights out. What about the other night when the Kahu took on the Queens? Queens 50% from three-point land, the Kahu 42, 21 three balls between them in that game. Boagney. Boagney have her turn. Retreats beyond the arc and drains a three. And here's Chessica oh, at the other finish. end. And she'll do it the old-fashioned way, heading to the Razine to convert the three-point play. Good by the Hoi Hoi, just pushing it up the court. Cutting to the basket. Can't forget the three-point play by Agni gets the board. With Tarai Elliott. One of the two players, well, she is the player who clashed heads with uh, Lena Snyder on Monday night. Cherry, the travel. With the travel. Took a few steps. I'll do the old ball first. So another chance for the Hoi Ho. Russ looking for an option. Finding one in Richards. Snyder puts up a three ball. Rebounded by Tessa Boagni. And again the poor guy. Look to add to their lead. 29-14. She's hit one already. Boagni for three. Open. Good look, says Coach Bevelak, but didn't drop this time as Fotu tries to make Nicole Russ life hard. Just gets over halfway in time. Again, they go inside to Cheslet. Richards for three. Another rebound for Boavni. She's vacuuming them up at the moment. Yeah, that one made easier by her teammate doing a job and boxing out as we see a sloppy ball and a turnover. Sebastian Nisbet making their way to the corner. Alafotu trying to lead her to the hoop. Results in the turnover. Over oh seven from beyond the arc of the Southern Hoi Ho. Five for 11 of the mainland power play. Snyder. Can't get herself going. Yeah, is that, who's that come off last? It looks like Jan Cherry, judging by the urgency, but the referee says it will be power play ball. Oh, it will be Hoi Ho ball. Yeah, look pretty tough. There's only the two of them on the court, isn't it? They're used to having a third ref. Yeah, if you're just joining us, with a few flight delays ahead of, uh, around the South Island. It's Chester from Boagney fight for the ball. Boagney wins that battle again. A few flight delays that have disrupted the refereeing ranks today. Boagney steps into another three. One doesn't go. Olivia O'Neill with the board. Slide up. Cherry tried to sell the foul there. Oh, Zoe Richards, great hustle for the offensive rebound. Chestnut puts it up from the elbow. That one does go. And I'm happy with that because she finds herself open there at the knuckle. That was a sweet shot. And we have a timeout here for the mainland Poakai. And a flop warning on Jalen Cherry, I think. There's a flop warming on Jalen Cherry. And the crowd only know about it as well, which is <laughs> good to hear. Just a few members of the Dunedin crowd saying, yeah, it was a flop. <laughs> Confirming it. 
So 29-16, the Powakai lead. Time out here, just over seven minutes to go. In the first half, first half of four today at the Edgar Centre. And the South NBL regular season will finish. The game between the Nuggets and the Bulls. the Nuggets can either finish third or sixth, therefore shaping their potential run through to uh, the grand final and who they'll play on Wednesday. For their Toihi counterparts, the Southern Hoi Ho, there will be no, no such final four fun. They're just out to play spoiler for the rest of this season particularly brutal in a fighting competition where the top four make the finals. Yeah, look, it's tough, isn't it, when there's only five teams and you cut it to four. But remember, it's only the first year of the Toihi, so hopefully that can grow like the Sal's NBL has. But a better start to the second quarter from the Hoi Ho. We look to put a bit of pressure on under this timeout. Head on the shot clock. Baptiste down low fires it over to Cherry. Hoots a needle to find Balagny. Has to put up a long two, Jalen Cherry. A long rebound brought in by Tori Dugan. Yeah, offense isn't coming as easy as what it was in the first quarter for the Poakai. It's a better defense from the Hoi Ho as we see Snyder roll around the top. She just can't get it to drop at the moment, Lena Snyder. It's four points. So they go to Boagni again, surrounded by Hoy Ho. Zoe Richards with some great defense, comes she away did, with the ball. She did a great job there because I think she got some elbows as Tessa Boagni was going up to release. Oh, and, and, and then drains a three in Boagni's face. So a couple of wins, one on either end of the court for Zoe Richards there. And that's what we need to see more from her. Very capable player. Baptiste uses her speed and find a bit of space, but Chester just loomed over her to prevent the layup. His Fotu's three is off. Oh, Snyder. great running by Snyder. And a great pass to Chester and who finish. finishes it off. Well, three second offense for the Southern Hoi Ho as they're just starting to warm into their work a bit, and all of a sudden, it's an eight point game. And the Pai Kai have only scored three points this quarter, five minutes. Baptiste. Certainly has the speed advantage on Chestnut, not the height. And Chestnut did well to get a good hand there. Rolls out. Here comes Lena Snyder. Richards. That one too strong. The box out from Boagni. Tempo's just lifted a notch from the Hoi Ho. Baptiste's going to work on oh, Richard Snyder comes to help. And Trinity Baptiste will head to the Resine foul line to shoot two. Foul called on Zoe Richards. And today, Elia and Jalen Cherry take a seat. Lauren Heffalite and Aaron Whalen back into the game for the Paul Arkite. See the GJ Gardner Holmes replay of the foul. Baptiste makes them both. And the lead's back out to 10, four and a half minutes to go. Chester Morrison getting ready to check in for the first time tonight for the power fight. Chestlet looking for an option. Gallagher curls off the screen. Oh, Slider. great ball. Oh, this doesn't quite go to hand. Great work off the ball. Here comes Whalen. Finds 4-2. Oh, 
five on the shot clock. Oh, she skips it round the base. Beautiful pass to Fotu. Snyder comes down with the board. And Mahoyho not slowing, her, slowing down here or hanging around. And Snyder's lost her headband, I think. Or at least lost her, some of the elasticity. She just fixes it up. O'Neill from the corner. From the uh, elbow, I should say. Rebounded by Boagni. Here we go, number seven for Tessa Boagni. Erin Whalen from the corner. Oh, why not? Down it goes for Erin Whalen. She's up to 12 points. And we have a timeout. Play a timeout. So Sky City player timeout gives the players a chance to uh, call, uh, talk it through on court. No coach interference in the uh, player timeout. I think we're also saying that they can't make a substitution yeah, no, during that timeout either. Yeah, no subs allowed during a player timeout, so the poor guy did make one, which is quickly reversed by the referee. So Tessa Morrison having to wait a little bit longer. Olivia O'Neill will get us back underway. So the Hoi Hawk playing crew taking it upon themselves to have a quick chat. Snyder, Sabu Cheslet. She just made one from the other side of the uh, elbow. And that one doesn't go. And Baptiste comes down with the board. Three minutes to go in this first half. Ooh, oh, got the crunch. Screen. Baptiste on, on O'Neill. O'Neill hit the floor hard. Hippolyte can't get the catch. Now the subs can happen. As Kestrip comes in and Morrison comes in. Olivia O'Neill just. That's when you need your teammates telling you that there's a screen being set. There was nothing. Got monstered. Nothing uh, illegal, I don't think, about the screen. Just Olivia O'Neill wasn't told it was coming. And it's hard when you're full court man defense. Put your eyes on your player. And Snyder. Morrison with some good defense. Forcing that pass out of bounds. So another turnover for Southern Hoy Hall. That's their seventh. Pollock I have six. Morrison looks inside for Bragney. Mismatch for Tessa Bragney, but she fires it out to Erin Whalen. And why oh, wouldn't you for Erin Whalen? She's hitting him today. Just shooting the dream from three-point land is Whalen. Snyder, in case it wasn't there, and Snyder thought she would be. So, back to back passes go out of bounds from the Southern Hoy Hawk. It's two Snyders passed, hoping the cutter is going to the hoop. Thirteen points, the difference here. Baptiste tries to make some room underneath. It was either going to be a travel or a three-second violation, but travel was the call. I'll tell you, the score is 37-21, just over two minutes to go in this first half. We'll just have a, a graphics issue that we'll get sorted for you. I'll keep you updated on the score and time verbally for the time being. And apologies to those watching at home. Here's Bronwyn Kestra. Fires it over to Nicole Rusk, former tall fan, tries to find a bit of space, but Tessa Morrison did a good job defensively since she's come on. Tori Dugan's three is off. Gallagher fighting for it. Boragny comes down with rebound number eight. And there's Waylon with another three that doesn't go. And we might have a flop warning coming yeah, for Samara Gallagher. <laughs> for Jacob Crom. I don't think she's 100 either, Sammy Gallagher. Rusk trying to get something to go, and she'll make her way to the free throw line. Tessa Morrison called for the foul. So one minute 21 to go here in this first half. 37-21, the mainland Powakai lead 
the Sun and Hoi Hoi. And both teams have had flop warnings now, so... One apiece. Any more flops, and we're to technical foul territory in this game. Cherry the culprit for the Pokai, and Gallagher the culprit for the Hoi Hoi. This must make her three throw. Like Dugan getting all tied up on the ground. Morrison driving to the hoop. Great hand from Nicole Rusk. And I like this, pushing up the court. Trying to take them off guard, but got to keep position. Does well. Good hand from Hippolyte. And Morrison, who has been defensively just a pest since she's come into this game. She gets called for her second foul on that occasion. But she's not making life easy for whoever brings the... Uh, Ball up against her. 37-23, under a minute to go. 50 seconds to be precise as Nicole Rush puts up a three ball. Hippolyte brings down the rebound. Whalen runs the floor. It's 15 points here in Whalen. Here she is looking inside for Boagney. Boagney does well. Morrison from the corner. Doesn't drop. And Gallagher comes down with the ball. 30 seconds to go. 37-23, the poor guy in the ascendancy as we approach the end of the first half. Dugan three. Oh, ball. what a shot. They needed that, the hoi hoi. Does drop, and we have a timeout from Charlie Bevelacqua and the mainland poor guy. So 37-26 it is. It's having some slight issues with our scoreboard on the screen, so uh, I'll keep you updated verbally. The penultimate round of GJ Gardner Holmes, Toihi. A 10 day break after today's games, before uh, a 10 day break to allow the South NBL to have their final sets up in Auckland. And then uh, one more round to go in this competition before the final four in Nelson the end of August and who will be crowned the inaugural Toei uh, champion and also let's not forget the personal awards Donna, MVP, Offensive Player of the Year, Coach of the Year, who's going to be the first ever All-Star 5. Oh look it's exciting isn't it, it's so good for women's basketball and you know we've all talked about it, a lot of our past players you know it's a long time coming but so privileged to be a part of it. And watching the quality of these players, it's not going to be an easy pick for some of those awards, I don't think you. So we have 18.8 seconds on the clock. So I expect the Parker to hold for the last shot here. They lead 37-26. 10 seconds on the clock. Hippolyte trying to wait for a bit of movement. Four on the clock. Three. To Waylon on the buzzer. Oh, no. Erin Waylon rattles in a three ball. She just shrugs her hands. And Erin Waylon has 18 points to end the half. Oh, 37-26. 40-26, I should say, the Poakai. Lead at half time. Trying to keep pace with the likes of the Tokamanoa Queens and the Northern Kahu and potentially finish above the uh, fight. And the uh, top four calculations. So now let's talk to Erin Whalen, who's been the star of the first half. She's with Donna. Well, Erin, the hot hand this afternoon. You're just nailing every three pointer at the moment. What's going through your head? Um, I'm just. Grateful that we're having a lot of open shots today. Uh, the team's really doing a good job of finding me when I'm open, so credit to them. Um, just wanted to make sure that we finish this game off like how we started. Let's Defensive go. focus is always going to be our thing for us, but uh, just keep pushing. I'll let you go to the changing sheets. All the best for the second half. Thanks very much, Erin and Jonna. Half time here, 40 points to 26. The Poakai lead the Hoi Ho. Hope to have some stats for you after the break here on Sky Sport.
Welcome back to Mora FM Arena, deep in the heart of Yekta Center here in Dunedin. It's half time between the Southern Hoi Ho and the mainland Poakai, and it's the Hoi Ho who trail 26 to 40 here after two quarters of basketball. You've been here alongside Donna Wilkins, and Donna it has been her dominant performance from the Poakai so far, led by Erin Whalen, who is six for seven from beyond the arc. Look, she's feeling it, and look, if you, you're knocking down those shots, six from seven, you want to find her, but the, what, the way they're finding her, they're creating offensively. They were a wee bit static, the Paiakai, at the start of that second quarter, but once they moved that ball inside out and it opened up for Erin. But, you know, look at that monster on the boards, Tessa Biagni, eight rebounds, all of them defensively. Um, just that ability to box out. Lena Snyder, really just unable to get herself... Yeah, going she's... too much so far, leading the way rebounding wise for a side, but two for eight from the field. Mm. Five rebounds and a couple of blocks as well, um, but also three turnovers uh, as we see the assist there. They've, they've had some success when they found Shelby Cheslick in the uh, in the high post, and then um, she's found some cutters, but uh, few and far between so far for the Southern Hoi Hawk, as we see Tessa Brightney leading the league in blocks and leading this game in blocks too. And so far. It's been a dominant performance from the mainland Poakai, led by Aaron Whalen and Trinity Baptiste. On the offensive end, and Tessa Vaitney and Tessa Morrison came off the bench and uh, on the defensive end. Great to see a young crowd here at the Eka Centre. Keep to two, he plays there, I'm sure. <laughs> For sure, look at them. And it's half time here and it's 40 points to 26. The mainland Poakai lead the Southern Hoi Hall. We've got another game coming up after this one, of course, the Otago Nuggets will farewell their home crowd as they head up to Auckland for the South NBL Final Six with a game against the Franklin Bulls. That one coming up after this one. For now, half-time in this Toihi Basketball Aotearoa contest. The Polokai 40, the Hoi Ho 26. Third quarter action coming up after the break.
I don't know. I I think we've absolutely I, well, disgusted no, you. Like, how dare you ask me that? Well, no, I was kind of thinking why you asked me. I don't really look at their jersey. Welcome back to the Eco Centre here in Dunedin. And it's half time between the Parkai and the Hoi Hawk. Two minutes to go until the third quarter. 40 points to 26. The Parkai lead on the back of Aaron Whalen's 18 points. Trinity Baptiste has 10. you been here alongside Donna Wilkins. Nuggets and balls to come after this one. We are very much at the pointy end of, uh, well, both our National League seasons. The South NBL Final Six gets underway on Wednesday from Tamaki Makoto, Auckland, and then the Toihi Final Four is uh, the end of this month, 26th and 27th of August. Tickets go on sale next Thursday. Keep an eye on Toihi socials for all the info. Just watching all the little girls walking along the court side here. The girls got game t-shirts on it's good to see the little superstars coming through that's what it's all about inspiring their next generation of uh, basketball player and these two teams have done a fine job of that so far in 2022 speaking of t-shirts let's talk about uniforms donna i want to know your thoughts on the uh, your favorite tohi uniform yeah you were asking me that i don't i haven't really thought about it to be yeah. First thing like, I think I mean, about I'm, every season. Yeah, I know you do, but like, it's things. not something I look at. I'm like, oh, you know, these teams are looking good on TV. They're, you know, they're looking fit. They're... I've been really impressed with the level of the play in all the games across the Toei but it's not that <laughs> I don't actually look at the uniforms. I'm sorry, Hugh. I'm disappointed. I know. Really disappointed. Well, what's yeah. your pick then? I like the Fies pink uniform. I think that looks, uh, that looks awesome. And uh, I like this red Poakai uniform. I do like them all. I think they've done a great job across both our leagues. I think they've all, they all, all look great. But uh, Fies Pink and the Poakai Red really... Uh, oh, the Kai have got that lovely see, light blue see, one. See, can't pick one. I knew it. Mm. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. I just agree that everyone looks great all the time. So that scoreboard you see on your screen, incorrect. So we'll just give you the... Uh, score at the moment which is 40 points to 26 
Adelaide. Third quarter about to get underway. Getting ready to come back out. So for the Pohokai, Jan and Cherry, Lauren Heppelite, Aaron Whalen, Trinity Baptiste and Tessa Boagney. And for La Hoiho, Samara Gallagher remains out there despite a couple of periods of limping in that first half. Nicole Rusk as well. Lena Snyder, Zoe Richards and Shelby Cheslett. Here's Lena Snyder with the Pohokai Dyke. Did a good job of keeping quiet in that first half, although she did get a few good looks. There's Cheslett oh, goes nice up with a, with a baby hook that drops. So 40-28 to go here in the third quarter as Heppelite dashes to the baseline, finds Erin Whalen who misses just her second three-point attempt. Well, just her second three-point miss of the game. She's made six. Kamala drives, looks to disc to Chestlet. That's come off the hand of Boagney. So hoy haw possession from the baseline. Yeah, the hoy haw coming out with a bit more energy. In the second half is as good as Snyder looks to make one, but just can't knock them down this afternoon. She made 31 on Wednesday. Cherry finds a bit of space, elevates oh, the nice. side of the key and gets it to drop. Yeah, good finish. 42-28 to the mainland Poakai. Snyder this time, she drops it off to Cheslet. Baseline jumper doesn't go. You just not enough leg in that shot, not getting the height. Forty-two twenty-eight. Eight minutes forty-five to go in the third quarter. Having some issues with the scoreboard, so we'll keep you updated verbally here from the Edgar Centre. As Cherry looks to find a uh, chink in this hoi haw zone defence. Here's Baptiste. It's a shot clock down to three. She has to get that good hand from Shelby Chesler. Oh, Aaron Whalen goes to save it, but. She's out of bounds as she does, so. Hoi Hoi possession. And Zoe Richards will get us back underway. Eight minutes 15 to go in the third quarter. 42 28, the Polak High lead. She has all the space in the world out there, so she puts the ball on the floor. Gives it to Richards and sets the screen. Gallagher's three. Is off. Cheslick offensive Big board balls. puts it straight back in. Shelby Cheslick for two. That's better from the Hoi Hoi, crashing those boards. Hippolyte. Looking for someone finding Baptiste. She goes to work on Cheslick. Keeps those long arms up. Shelby Cheslick prevents a shot. Oh, oh nice shot. Agni. Yeah, it's a baseline jumper to go. It's interesting, isn't it? Boagney had 18 points against the Hoi Hoa just on Monday. Uh, that's just her fifth point. Not looking to go inside as much. Whalen well, trying to clear some space with her body, and she draws a foul from Lena Snyder. Just the first on the Hoi Hoa star. The Whalen will go this back underway. Looking for a curling Jalen Cherry. Mid-ranger doesn't go. Whalen does well to keep it alive and keep it Pollock high possession. Yeah, great hustle. Tucks it under arm, drives, draws a foul, and we'll go to the Razine foul line to shoot two. Yeah, Cherry just looking to drive a lot more. That lane went to open up for her. Creates a chance at the Razine. So 44-30 as Cherry will look to add to the 14-point lead. Makes her first. LSU product. Finished at Louisiana State University just this year. In the first professional contract. And that remains Polakai possession. So Richards deemed to have touched it last. Yeah, Baptiste doing enough to put a bit of pressure. 
So seven minutes to go as Aaron Whalen looks to add to this third quarter lead. Bapti uh, Hippolyte's three doesn't go and Baptiste can't get a hand on it. She got a hand on it, just couldn't keep it. I think she got a bit of a fright that the rebound come straight down to her. And Elefotu checks in. 45-30, the Poakai lead over the Southern Hoi Ho. I wonder how Ella's body is after the long haul flight back to New Zealand from the Commonwealth Games. Snyder, this time she drives to the hoop. Comes off Trinity Baptiste, so it will remain Hoi Ho position. And I wonder if that's what Lena Snyder needs to do, just tap the rim. The jump shots aren't falling. Yeah, she needs to find a way to get some points as she does a good fake there and makes it. Pull up does go this time, so Raina Snyder has six points to go with her five rebounds and three assists. She will be key in any potential comeback the Hoi Ho launch. 45-32, they trail with Bo Agni. Uh, running hook shot is, uh, doesn't go, but she's fouled by Zoe Richards. So Tessa Bo Agni will go the line. It's the first foul. But nice to see that ball going inside. That uh, might have been calling Shelby Cheslick, actually. As Bob Agnew makes her first. Yeah. Bob Agnew makes them both, so score now 47-32. Tori Dugan checking back into the game for the Southern Hoi Ho. Poakai lead. Six minutes, 27 seconds to go in the third quarter here at the Edgar Centre. Nicole Rusk is fouled by Lauren Hippolyte. She makes her way up the court. It's the first foul on young Lauren. <laughs> Explaining that I can't hack when my arms are out. But good full court pressure from the Paiakai. Cheslet left wide Why open not? to shoot the three. <laughs> She's got so much space, I'd shoot it too. 10 3 round four, Tessa Boagni. He's the one who left the wide open. I think a deliberate ploy. As Baptiste tries to find a bit of space. There's that fade away from Trinity Baptiste. Doesn't drop though. Russ comes down with the board. Cheslet. Flies it over to Rusk. Five seconds on the shot clock as we get a three second violation. Cheslet. It's camping in there too long. It's hard though when you get a seal and you don't get seen. So the ball doesn't come in soon enough, resulting in that three second violation. She's got 10 points, Shelby Cheslet. An intriguing battle between her and Tessa Boagney. Tease from mid-range. Good hand from Chesler. We'll have a foul here. Called on Lena Snyder. Just called for holding Aaron Whalen on that box out. So five minutes 25 to go in this third period. 47-32. The Poakai lead. Snyder just bats that out of bounds. So She's in everything, isn't she? Poakai will go again. She has to get it in and just does in time. Whalen, nine on the shot clock. Here's Bo Agni. Gets Cheslet to bite one step inside the three point line and drains a two. 49 yeah, 32. Good, good shot fake by Tessa. So Boagney has nine points and ten rebounds, three assists. The Poakai lead 49-32 as Snyder. An illegal screen. Baptiste got crunched on the screen, deemed moving. Nicole Rust, the culprit. For the moving screen. For the basket, it doesn't count. And here comes Ella Fotu. Hands it over to Lauren Hippolyte. Wagner drops it into Whalen up with the left hand and easy as you like for Aaron Whalen. 51-32, under five minutes to go in the third quarter. 
The Apaya Club calling it early, that mismatch. Send Whalen inside. Snyder for three. That Ooh. one does go. Lena Snyder off the curl, drains the three ball. 51-35. Well, Tori Dugan oh, the turnover. Defense. Snyder lays out for the Pollock. I get the ball back. And Baptiste goes to work. Blocked by Cheslet. Well, Russ brings it the other way. Just a little. Oh, did she lift that foot? She did well to keep that back foot grounded. It's a little pep in the step of the Hoi Ho in the last couple of positions. They 135. Can Rusk eat yes, into that she lead? Can. She can. And a timeout from Tully Bevilacqua and the mainland Poakai. 51 38, they lead. Two click threes from the Hoi Ho. The dancers are out at Moria Fem Arena here at the Inca Centre. Had a day to myself in Dunedin yesterday. It was a lovely day as well. Sun was shining. Yeah, it's always warm before it snows. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little bit colder today. Perhaps to some of the sights. The Octagon. <laughs> no, that was really about it. I didn't go out, out, and phrase that incorrectly. I wasn't, you know, out till 4 a.m. at the Octagon. Like I hear, can be done in Dunedin. It's a beautiful day. Less so today. Bit of rain in the air today, but... Yeah, it was snowing when I left home, so hopefully it's not completely white when I try and track south. It's been raining buckets for Erin Whalen. Today. She's got 20 points. Trinity Baptiste has 10. Tessa Boagni has 9 points, 10 rebounds. Baptiste has 8 rebounds of her own. So, front court of the Poakai tracking nicely towards double doubles. But the Hoi Hoi, they just hang around, don't they? It's 51 38. Well, we often talk this season with the Southern Hoi Hoi about who's going to help Lena Snyder. So far, and for the first time. This season, she's not the leading scorer for her team. Shelby Chesnick is with 10 as Baptiste just can't get it to go. Snyder, good defense and the rebound. Yeah, I'm liking that matchup with Snyder and Baptiste. Nine points and five rebounds for Snyder. Well, six rebounds, I should say now. And here she is looking to get herself going, which would be ominous for the Poakai. Wagby with another rebound, number 11 for Tessa. And we've got a scoreboard back, which is great to see. Thank you very much to our tech crew working hard behind the scenes. As we go back inside to Tessa Boagni, looking to cut through the gap. Can't get it to go, no whistle, and here comes Snyder the other way, Russ to her left. Snyder leaves it short. Oh, Zoe Richards, though, fights hard, gets the offensive rebound. He just trips on the signage on the baseline, but great work by Richards. O'Neill in good position, but the uh, best block, shot blocker in the league looming over her. So made the smart decision to pass out of the post. Subasa Nisbet checks into the game for Tessa Boagni. Three on the shot clock. O'Neill's going to have to put it up, and it's a real hoist. And here come the Polakai the other way. Aaron Whalen plays at one speed and one speed only, and that is breakneck. Catch and shoot. High off the back iron. Fotu does really well. And then here's Jubasin Nisbet. Great patience as Snyder came flying through looking for a block. Fifty-three, thirty-eight. Just over two to go. Gallagher, good first step and draws the foul. So Samara Gallagher will head to the Razini foul line to shoot two. Alafotu called for the foul.
Callahan misses them both. Baptiste goes and gets the long board after Whalen tips it. Under two minutes to go in the third quarter. Just get over halfway in time to the Polakite. Nicolite's fouled by O'Neill. Just having the hand on. Tarai Elia. Making her way back into the game for Elafotu. Tough going for Elafotu this season, bouncing between international duty, 3x3, and five aside, but here with the Poakai. Uh, on top of that, she's a firefighter up in Auckland. So has to travel down for trainings when she can and, and for games when she can. So a disjointed season, and she'll be looking for a little consistency heading into the final four at the end of the month. One of two firefighters in our league, Alex Talmer for the Canterbury Rams, another firefighter in Auckland, and poor old Alex yesterday had to uh, do a night shift and then had his flight cancelled to Napier, so had to drive for the Rams game against the Hawks, in which it went to overtime. And they just missed out on the spot in the final six. So uh, I'm sure yeah. the Rams fans will thank Alex Talmer for his service. Yeah, big commitment, isn't it? Yeah, I with a strong drive. Goes and gets her own rebound as well. Does and then well. draws a foul. Sammy Gallagher will now head to the line to shoot two. Sheer grit to get that ball back. Jalen Cherry checks back into the game for Lauren Hippolyte. Gallagher misses her first, kicks the air in frustration. Spawakny gets ready to check back in. Gets a second to go, does Gallagher. Spawakny relieves Whalen. back in the zone. Shot clock down to four. Cherry thought about the shot and said fires low with the Nisbet. Shot has to go up, does just in time and gets nothing. So good defensive set from the Southern Hoy Hawk. The three, well four, top three point shooters for the Polar Kite. Sitting on the bench to our right and Hippolyte Wayland. Fotu and Morrison, so good time to go to zone for the Southern Hoi Ho, and it paid off on that possession. Yeah, and a chance for them to close this gap. Turn around jump it as we go from Russ, fighting hard for the rebound was Cheslett, it was Nisbet who comes down for it. We'll go to the line. And Cheslett called for the foul, it's her second. Subasa Nisbet will make her way down to the other end of the court, see the GJ Gardner Holmes replay. Both Gala and Cheslet just reaching in there, and Cheslet the one pinged for it. And this bit misses her first. to go here in the third quarter. Sorry, Donna. 35 nice. seconds to go. Chester lets to get to her spot. That one doesn't go. Sebastian Nisbet with the rebound. Snyder and everything, isn't she? Trying to get that turnover back. But, oh, foul. And that one might be on Samara Gallagher. It is. So, Traelia will go to the other end and take a couple of free throws. And this is where the Paiakai were really strong on Monday night from the foul line. At a high percentage. Elia makes her first. Dribbles the second through. So 20 seconds to go in this third quarter. 
been a better third oh, quarter Batiste defensively. just gets her hand in, but Snyder, look, she's right back in the action. Drops it off to Gallagher, and that time it's Gallagher who is fouled, and she'll go to the Razine foul line to shoot two. So Snyder keeps it alive. And they picked up their defense, the Hoy Hawk, after a pretty calamitous first quarter in which they allowed 26 points. They allowed just 14 in the second and 16 so far in the third. They've yet to really outscore the Poakai though. Gallagher makes both her free throws. Cherry looking to go coast to coast and finishing Jane and Cherry with a big move. So Russ might get one up from half court. And that doesn't go, so Jan and Cherry puts her surname on the cake to finish this third quarter. 58-41, the Poakai lead the Southern Hoi Hall. Fourth quarter action coming up after the break here on Sky Sport. Final regular season round that will decide the placings for the top four and then the top four itself from the Trafalgar Centre in Nelson. We're into the fourth quarter here, 58 41, a lead for the mainland Poakai, the Hoi Hawk. Well, they know they won't be at the final four. They can uh, affect who plays who in the semi final, that's for sure. As Jalen Cherry wants to get to oh, the an offensive board, Baptiste. Oh, she finishes among the tall trees as well. Yeah, one either side, but manages to get it off the glass. There's Rusk driving. Oh, a big block. Is that Jalen Cherry? It was. It was. She's had a couple of big blocks since joining the league a couple of weeks ago. Snyder catch and shoot from the inbound. Rebounded by Baptiste, and there's the double double for Trinity Baptiste. And there she is again, this time a step back and pull up from the elbow. She just makes that shot look so easy. Snyder lobs it over the top. Russ gets Cherry to bite big time. The gang rebound by the Poakai. Cherry showing her speed. 
Bagley straight out in front. That doesn't drop. Nisbet and Cheslet fight for the rebound. It's the latter who comes down with it. Snyder, quick pass to Zoe Richards, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Shelby Cheslet bringing the ball up. A new look, point guard. Had a good foul to give, stopping the two points. So Richards at the line. Five points, five rebounds so far for Zoe. She misses her first free throw. News just in from the Nuggets camp. Keith Williams will not play in the game after this one. He's out with illness. We see the Hoi Hoi again in that zone. And it comes up with possession. Richards. She finds Gallagher. Drops it into Snyder, beautiful pass from the Hoi Hoi captain, finished off by their leading scorer. And Snyder, great hands underneath the basket. Cherry, flies it over to Nisbet. It's a hot they... potato here from the yeah. uh, mainland Polokai. Offensive rebound from Nisbet. And she's fouled by Gallagher, so Nisbet will head to the line to shoot two. I was about to say that Piaka, I need to penetrate towards the basket and try and suck in some of that zone and then kick it out. They're just passing around and the hoi hoi didn't really have to do much. But again, offensive rebound hurting. So, Aaron Whalen back into the game. Tubasa Nisbet takes a break. <laughs> Cherry, all the time in the world, everyone's yelling. <laughs> Whalen doing it tough. Good defense from Shelby Cheslet. And here come the Hoy Hall the other way. Cheslet wants it. Gallagher delayed the pass, doesn't even make it. Instead finds Rusk. Big rebound. Oh, sorry, Richards is hitting the deck and she's taking the teammate with it. Need to, to get okay. it up over half as we see it. Half court violation. Eight second violation there. And uh, Joe and Cherry might have taken a shot. And uh, she went to try and get possession. And she'll take a break as Lauren Hippolyte subs in for her. Comes off a little gingerly. Just caught one in the uh, midriff, I think. Winded. There's certainly some more life in the Hoi Hoi defense in the second half, Donna. We have seven minutes to uh, try and get the ball in the hoop a little bit more. Yeah, it's just that occasional offensive board that they give up. Wayne Snyder will head to the line to shoot two. Trail by 18. Seven minutes, so plenty of time. They need to make a run soon. We need a run similar to the one we saw at Invercargo just two nights ago in the south of Sharks went on a 15-0 run to spark a great comeback. Against the Franklin Bulls, who we'll see in action after this. And they take on the Otago Nuggets from three o'clock. So see that defensive pressure from the Hoi Hoi. And another turnover. And a thrown pen from Coach Tully Bevilacqua. Lives and it. breathes every possession, <laughs> does <laughs> Coach Bevilacqua. Angry as she's been. <laughs> Pins go flying. Well, we know these coaches, well, certainly the four that will know they'll play in the final four. They now want to be playing finals level basketball, so the things get a bit sloppy. You see the emotion come out on the sideline as Trinity Baptiste she's sees a bit of space in coast front of her. Coast and does. Makes it look easy, does Trinity Baptiste. So all that hard defensive work for the Hoi Hoi comes undone with a full court layup. Yeah, 
Cheslett. Oh, easy as you like from the elbow. Shelby Cheslett has 12 points. And I think that's her spot. She gets open there quite frequently at the top in the knuckle. Hit two of those down today. Looking like lucky there. <laughs> it's a wee giggle as she runs off. Baptiste. He's going to ice this game for the park height. Has to go up from Boagny. Rebounded by Cheslett. And a seven for Shelby to go with her 12 points. There she is, ball in hand, looking to get to her spot in the post. Up with the left this time, rolls around and drops. Or Shelby Cheslett having a game. Been fantastic offensively this afternoon. 14 point game. Need some stops to the Southern Hoy Hall. Oh, Agni. Doubled. Gets her own rebound and then draws a foul. Tessa Bo Agni in beast mode down low. She'll go with the Razine foul line to shoot two. Just, Tessa's so strong on those boards as you see her inside move. It draws a double, but just goes hard up for that offensive rebound. Gets a reward. For Agni, the free throw line, and there's her double-double. Ten points to go with 11 rebounds so far. 12 rebounds, I should say. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, look at the depth of this pull class side, even, of course, without Mary Goulding, one of the stars for the rest of the season. But the luxury of bringing a tall fan off the bench, Nella Fotu. Luxury that not many of the teams have, and here she is, Ella Foster, right on cue, coming away with the steal. And I think they've missed her defensive intensity. She makes a difference, as we see. Shelby Chestnut in the open court, all alone, and finishing. And with the right. dunk it call from the crowd. Well, we saw it. Player, I don't know if you saw Donna at the uh, recent women's FIBA under 17's women's basketball world cup. Canadian player dunking two, two feet, two hands, 16 years old. That's phenomenal, isn't it? I can only dream about those <laughs> being able to do that. Being able to do it in a game is, as you know, so different to just in training. Oh, I wish I did know. <laughs> oh, I dream about it. You used to get the mini tramp out. It's the only <laughs> time you could slam dunk. Chestnut looking to get the ball down low. Gets it. Looks to drop it off to a cutting Kestrup, but Baptiste read that pass. It will remain hoy haw possession. The hoy haw just slowly edging back into it, but the clock might be against them. Chestnut leads it up high. Well, she can't mess at the moment, Shelby Chestnut. 12 point game, four minutes to go. So. Every possession needs to go the way of the Hoi Hoi if they're going to come back into this way. Lauren Hippolyte probing into the paint. Finds Baptiste, quick first step. The defense from Zoe Richards. And a foul from Lauren Hippolyte at half court. And we have a timeout from the mainland Porkai. The lead 66-54. So far it's been a 13 to 8 point quarter to the Hoi Ho. So this is what the Hoi Ho do, don't they? They finish quite strongly generally in games. They might be down by a considerable amount, but they manage to come right back. So just missed the scoring input from Layla Snyder. She averages 22 points, just 13 so far in this one. It's been a hard fought 13 points as well. Five for 15, one for six from beyond the arc. She hit seven on Wednesday night. She must have used them all up, but yeah, she might not be having a good shooting night, but she's also, but she's everywhere, defensively, on the rebounds, cutting to the hoop, creating for her team. But nice to see some others step up and Shelby stepping up with 18 points. A heated timeout to our right. And Coach Bevilacqua not, not happy with what she's seen in the last few minutes of play. 
or last quarter really from the mainland Polokai. Yeah, it's only 12 points. Anything can happen, and it's hoi hoi ball. Shelby Chesley averaging just six and a half points for the season has 18 with three minutes 41 to go. I think that's really what is sticking in the craw of Coach Bevilacqua. But they start straight from the timeout with a turnover. A sloppy pass from Lena Snyder, and here come the mainland Paul Arkite. That dribble, the pull-up doesn't drop. Yeah, Snyder with the board. She's a wee bit undecided whether she could go all the way to the hoop. Decides on the pull-up, just too short. Hoiho, another opportunity. Time is of the essence for the Southern Hoiho, and Tori Dugan knows it, so she puts oh, up not? a three and gets there to go. Now it makes it interesting. Foto always looks so in control on the basketball court. It's like she has all the time in the world. He's wailing, they look inside the ball. Agni, great seal from Tessa Boagni and two points. 11 point game, two minutes 30 to go. Cheslick again, and she's up to 20 points. Beautiful move under the hoop. And everything's working for Cheslick at the moment. Whalen stopping and popping and finishing. And they need stops. The buckets are coming for the Hoi Horn now. They just need to stop them at the other end as we uh, approach the two minute mark in this game. Rusk puts up a three. Rebounded by Whalen. And the Hoi Horn just got a bit static. Hawkeye, just been told by the bench that time's on their side. It's Baptiste, a little fade away in the paint, doesn't go. Snyder with a board. Number 10, so a double double for Lena Snyder, even on, I guess what you'd say is a bit of an off night for her. 13 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. Here's Shelby Cheslick. Go to work again, Shelby Cheslick. Why not? Another 2 points. Yeah. Great game for her. Finish off on this home court here, in front of the crowd in Dunedin. It's been a machine offensively tonight for the Hoi Ho. We go inside to Biagni. Travel. Go for a travel. We have a timeout here. So the dancers come onto the court. It's a nine point game between these two. A minute 15 to go. 70 points to 61. Three possessions in it. Certainly advantage Poakai. Crazier things have happened in the sport of basketball. And a quick shot. A turnover defensively and all the pressure will go back on the park high. And after this one, of course, the Otago Nuggets in action against the Franklin Bulls. That's three o'clock here on Sky Sport. We're at 5.30. The five take on the Tokamano of Queens. A triple header of basketball for you on Sky Sport today. And don't forget the Sales NBL Final Six. Tickets on sale at eventfinder.co.nz. Starts on Wednesday. Where we'll see some combination of the Nuggets, Hawks, Saints and Tuatata in two play-in games. That who plays who to be decided in the 3 o'clock game by the result of that one. Ears and Giants locked into the semi-finals, so they'll get... Oh, tough, but Snyder does well to track it down. Baptiste has played great defence all night. Oh, Lena Snyder. Go back to Snyder. 
two on the shot clock. Tough shot. Lena Snyder rattles oh, around. And it rolls out. And Whalen comes down with the ball, and she's fouled by Gallagher as those two get tied up. All smiles at the end of it. So under a minute to go. Good pressure from oh, Hoy Hoy. They have a player timeout. They might have to be quick to get over half one. Have to get it over. Jaden Cherry but is no. quick, not quick enough. Another violation for the mainland Pohakai. Tessa Barakini just tells her team, guys, we have a player timeout. That good old pass the ball up. Takes a wee bit longer to dribble. Oh, oh, need a bucket and they need it quickly as Gallagher stops, puts up a three. Ooh. Doesn't go, rebounded by Boagney. Super close. Boagney's been great on the boards as we see this pressure. And they just get over halfway and Trini Baptiste is waiting for it. Fouled and we'll go to the line to shoot two. Under 30 seconds to go and a nine point margin for the mainland Poakai. Little tiptoe on the side, just next to the sideline by Aaron Whalen. Good well to keep it in. And here's Trinity Baptiste at the Resine foul line. Just a penguin in the background, sorry. That little, uh, the, the hoi ho in the background on your left, just wasn't expecting to see it there. <laughs> Baptiste makes them both. We have a player timeout here by the Southern Hoi Hoi. Oh, and the dancers are on. I don't think they realise it's not a... Not a full timeout, just a player timeout. Well, I'll do their work. So a win for the Pokai. Just keep them in touch of the Tokamanura Queens, who are six and four sitting second on the ladder and both the Fai and the Pohakai four and five. <laughs> Queens take on the Fai this afternoon at 5.30 of course from Todong. Kahu out in front nine and one but shown they are beatable. We get to see that match up again with the Queens and the Kahu. So play, Sky City player tying out over and let's see what the Hoi Hoi have drawn up for themselves. Into Chester, out to Dugan. Three ball from the corner. Boagney does well to go and get the rebound. And now it's the uh, Poakai's time to turn it, call a player timeout. With 20 seconds to go. So back to back opportunities for these two teams to talk it over. Preventing another eight second violation, of course. Sky City player timeout. No uh, interference allowed from either coach. Tell you what, the coaches find it hard. You see, standing there wanting to just yell at them, <laughs> yell on instructions at their team. And seeing, it's interesting, isn't it, to see what play they run out of the player timeouts. The coach is either sitting back with a smile or shaking the head. It's a great opportunity for some of these players to show some leadership. Straight into a foul from Tori Dugan. So the end of this game might uh, be prolonged by some free throws. As Jaden Cherry heads to the line to shoot two. This is the first. It's been Aaron Whalen and Shelby Cheslick who have led their way for the teams, 22 points apiece. Cherry misses in both. Cheslett gets the rebound, number nine for Shelby Cheslett. Deepest of threes for Samari Gallagher. Doesn't get anything. I think she may have got Erin Whalen on the follow through. 
Haupt. Tell the like we're just, just getting a timeout in. And you can see we're at the point in the season where the coaches just want to make sure they're working on in-game. And also they've had a couple of turnovers, haven't they, in the backcourt with the eight-second violation, so not taking any chances. So it will be a win for the mainland Paul Kite, and it will advance to five and five on the ladder. So the ball in the fives court, and they take on the Queens this afternoon, but still a lot of movement to happen in that top four. Certainly worth commending the refereeing crew in this game today, Donna. They're going to go with just a two-man crew. Taylor Armisen and Jacob Crump. Oh, they've done a great job, haven't they? Formed splendidly after some flight disruptions. And we had to do a bit of roster gymnastics with the refs. So Jan and Cherry will finish this game off. Unless, we, of course, we have another timeout. Who knows? They look for Bowen. Oh, great ball! So Cherry to Boagney and the Boagney bench is up. And the turnover from the Hoy Hawk. Oh, another one. Oh, Jan Cherry will turnovers are plenty. Sammy Gunner running around like a headless chook as she does, but that'll do us. Full time here at the Acre Centre, 74-61, a win for the Poakai. So five and five they go to and keep the pressure on the Queens and the fight. Fight for second spot, the key one. Shelby Chester. The game of her season so far, 22 and 9. And a losing effort, Lena Snyder, 13 and 10. And it's a win for the mainland Poakai. You can see Otago Nuggets make their way onto the court, get ready for their game. And we can head over to Shelby Cheslett, who, uh, after the game of her season, was lucky enough to be interviewed by Donna Wilkins. Well, Shelby, you'll have to be pleased with your own individual performance. I think you had 22 points and nine rebounds. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy with my performance. I wish we could have still got the win, but I'm really glad with how we played today. I think we moved the ball well and played as a team today. You guys have this ability of coming back. You started a little bit slowly this afternoon, but you have this ability to come back. How do you translate that to the beginning of the game? Right, that's been something we've been working on. You know, I feel like we always kind of have a really good second half lately, but that first quarter is something we have to do a lot better at. Well, well done on a great individual performance this afternoon, though. Thank you so much. And we've just got Tessa Boagney coming in. Another huge game from you, Tessa, on the boards today. Yeah, I... I know that teams are going to be um, especially going in on our post, so just getting the rebounds and focusing on passing out to the guards is really big for us at the moment. It works really nicely for you guys when you go inside and then outside, and Erin Whalen in that first half, those three points. I know, she was on fire, and we have such amazing shooters in our team. Everyone, one from ten, can shoot really well from the three, so we know that if we get it inside and move the defence, then we can make our shots. So you've got the Fai and the Kahu coming up as a run into finals. What do you have to do against those two teams? Um, bring a lot of physicality. They're really strong physical teams um, and they're really athletic too, so we're going to bring physicality. And I think game by game we're slowly improving, so hopefully our best will come out and then and in the finals. I'll let you go be a mum now. Thank you. <laughs> great to hear from Tessa. Great to see young Noah out there as well. So we see the Otago Nuggets out on the court ahead of their first for their last home game, I should say, of the 2022 season before they head to the final six. The Franklin Bulls await them. That's coming your way from three o'clock as we see the stats. Cheslick and Wayland led the way with 22 points apiece. Baptiste with 18, Snyder with 13, and Bo Agnew with 15. 
So the front court of the Polokai doing the damage for Agni and Baptiste double digit rebounds as did Lena Snyder. Shelby Chester the star player for the uh, Hoi Ho tonight in a losing effort. Just that first quarter they let get away from them otherwise it was uh, an even game between these two South Island sides. But a win for Tully Bevilacqua and the mainland Poakai over the uh, Southern Hoi Ho. Well, stick with us here on Sky Sport because from three o'clock, the Otago Nuggets take on the Franklin Bulls. The Nuggets can either finish third or sixth as we see the game still to come. And from Donna Wilkins and myself, here at the Eager Centre, we'll bid you farewell and we'll be back in 45 minutes, 3 o'clock, live on Sky Sport, Nuggets and Bulls in the South NBL, the final game of the regular season.